20 minutes in the boot cell. Ikea bag is already full of stuff. I've not even done half of a loop. I've done better already today than I did the whole of the last boot cell. Where's my car? Oh, we're looking at these trucks. Aren't they lovely? They're brilliant, aren't they? But they've been, you know, played with. You yeah. know, they're Tonka as well. Yeah, Tonka's no, such they're, a good mate. They're good fun, aren't they? That, that's lovely. That's a fine. Five minutes for that one? Yeah. What about the green one? Mm, four. Yeah, so nine on... Yeah, we've got nine on those. Yeah, that's... Yeah, I'll, yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take those ones. I got one, no, I, I got one, don't worry, I got one. What about your shoes too? Have them as well. Yeah, okay. Two? Two? Yeah. That's 11. Call it a tenner for, for it all? Go on then. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. So, good start to the day. Two die cast Tonka vehicles, both of them from the late 1970s, made in the USA, stamped on the bottom. This white one at the top, reasonable condition, although I think there should be a little flap on the back which is missing. Last solds, you might push 15 quid for it all in. But this one was definitely the best buy of the two. It's a green camper van. Again, reasonable condition. Obviously some paint chips and scuffs. Sign of the time, sign of the age. That Popeye sticker really threw me off. Shouldn't be there, obviously. But inside you can open it up and all the stickers look pretty good in there. Lots of solds of these over in America, looking at about £25 plus postage mark. She wanted nine quid for both of those, but I'm thinking and I'm looking across the table, what else can I bundle in? And she had this pair of Brooks Ravina 9s. They aren't in the best condition. You can see the toes there starting to come through, a little bit of scuffing on the side. But bundle that in for a tenner. If they were in good condition, you might be able to push 20, 25. If I can get a 10 plus postage back and cover the cost of all the items, that's a good score. That's an old PSP, yeah? But that was two minutes ago and you're the second person to pick it up. Am I? <laughs> How much did you sell it for? 40 quid. 40 quid? It's, it's got back to you, you want to turn it on. It's a racing game, ready to go and punch back. Got a charger for it? Is yeah, it charge yeah, it? Yeah, I just gave it a quick charge last night to make sure it's able to be played. Can't resist like a box of teddies. Oh, they're all 50p. Someone told me I'm standing too low for the Disney ones, but my kids don't appreciate them and I'd rather someone else appreciate yeah. them. <laughs> I'll have to get Dumbo. I know. Let's get Dumbo. He's cute, isn't he? He's like, I don't need him. You can't sell him 50p. I was like, wow. Well. <laughs> hey, how's it going, right? Yeah, not too bad, thanks. Nice. How much are you doing there, uh, Crocs for? Two pounds for those. Two quid? Yeah. Let's go for it. Would you like to buy anything? I was looking at I was looking at Maui's hook. <laughs> it's about um I will give you an offer for um ten pounds, but I add if it's well, I'll give you an offer for ten. Is it lighter? Yeah, I'll show you. Yeah, it looks like it. Very cool. I think I I think I'll leave that for another time, but that, thank you very much. Oopsies. Ten for the lot. Yeah. Box, which is probably worth three, four, five, Wade Whimses. 50 of them for a tenner. Bought these from the guy that I bought the money boxes off last week, overpaid for them. And even though I've got a lot of quantity here, I've probably overpaid for these because they are all slightly damaged in their own way. Look at that big crack at the bottom there. This is going to be auctioned off one job lot and we'll just see how they go. How's it going, right? Yeah, not right. bad. You okay? Yeah, <coughs> not too bad. Let's have a look at the skateboard. How much, how much are you selling the skateboard for? Or the deck? Yeah, fine there. You haven't got any wheels for it? No. <laughs> Why did I buy this? In my head, I was thinking people might want replacement decks if they want to mix the colors up or their deck breaks. They don't. 
Alternatively, people might want to hang that up for display at a push. Without the trucks, without the wheels, I can't see any of them listed on eBay and I can't see any of them sold on eBay. But I don't know what to do with it. Want to do some surfing, boys? That's going to become a beach surfboard. What do you reckon? Oh, actually, what we could do is take this down the sand dunes, spin it over. It's got these rails on the bottom that will fly down the dunes. What do you reckon? Some brat dolls. Thousand and one. Oh yes, thank you very much, madam. Hiya, how, Hi. how much are you doing your dolls for? Uh, 50p each, but I'll let the three of them go for a pound. Let's go for it. That sounds Let's great. Go it. Let's go for it. Three Bratz dolls from 2001 for a pound. You just can't go wrong from it. And from the little research I've already done, these are from the Funk Out range. Gotta be careful how I say that. Now I think their clothes are a bit mixed up. If you're looking at sold, I think this one you might push 15 plus postage, so that makes the bundle worthwhile already. These ones, not too sure about, but if that one's anything to go by, it's worth doing the extra research, identify them, get the clothing right, and then I can push for the highest price. I made some poor choices last week. I had that first boot sale of the season buzz. I just wanted to buy everything. I, I bought some rubbish. Today already, I've been a lot more calculated and bought some better quality stuff. We'll drop out this first bag. You check out some eBay solds. I'll get myself sorted, we'll do a second loop. Tales of the Arabian Night, the £100 plus board game I found a couple of weeks ago in the charity shop, that's if it's complete mind. This unfortunately is not complete. Missing the rule book, that's pretty important. The main kind of character pieces, they're all gone and a couple of little tokens. Usually with high end board games like this there are usually people selling off individual parts. I looked, I couldn't find anyone selling off the pieces I needed to complete this. But the best thing about games like this is even though they're not complete, people will still buy them and for a decent amount of money if they're rare enough. I'm sure you can find a rule book online, you could kind of make your own player pieces and the little counters that are missing, they're just little counters. You could substitute them with something else if you were that desperate. But still, I was in two minds with this. Because no one is selling these parted out, that's an opportunity for me. I could have taken the time to part this out, list everything individually, and I'm sure I would have made a bit more money. Instead, because I only paid £2.50 for it, I sold it for 50 quid all in. It's gone global shipping. I'm happy with that price. I've made a nice amount of profit for minimal effort. And the guy who's bought this has got a great board game for a good price. Next up, straight out the early 90s, I sold a Power Ranger Megazord. Don't worry, I still have my complete Megazord down there, but this is another one that I bought to part out. I pinched the good pieces off this, put them on mine to complete it. This was what was left. You could see all the grey plastic is going a little bit yellow. Few paint scratches on his face. The stickers are all a bit faded. It's in tired condition. I had it listed 50 quid plus postage. Offer come in 40 quid. I took it. A couple of sales from my local boot sale I went to a few weeks ago. I sold this pair of shell toe. They're almost like a knit material pair of Adidas. They're not in the best condition. The heels are kind of caving in. That front is a bit stained. Bit of a mark there. Paid two, three quid for them. Still gone for about 16 quid all in, even in that condition. And this fuggler I got in a bundle of teddies for a fiver. He's gone for a tenner all in. And on the theme of teddies, I sold this Build-A-Bear sheep. I picked this one up just before Easter thinking people might be buying lambs and sheep for Easter. Don't know why I was thinking. But paid a couple of quid for it, sold within a couple of months, £16 all in. Next up, straight out the collection, I sold this Fall of Cybertron Ultra Magnus. I just don't like him. He's got everything going for him. He's got all the weapons. Look at that mean sword there and this blaster there. Great condition. He just looks a little bit weedy. It's got this chest belly piece going on that's proper dad bod. I don't really like the colours, don't like his facial, I just don't like him. I am getting a little bit more picky with the collection because it is growing at a rate of knots. Sold him for £17.50 plus postage, don't mind letting him go for that. Last week my sales had properly dipped because I wasn't listing anything so I changed that. I went straight into the death pile and I have dug deep and I have decided to just bundle some stuff up and have a clear out. 
Monster Jam Monster Treks. Now, you know I've been selling these off individually whenever the price is right and the condition is right. These ones I could have sold individually, three, four quid plus postage. Instead, I've bundled 10 together, 25 quid all in, bare out the door, money in the bank. And I also had a set of lawn bowls in this Acclaim lawn bowls bag as well. Right at the bottom of there. They've probably been in there 12 months. It's something I've just been putting off for ages. It's probably just the thought of having to post those lawn bowls because they're a little bit heavy, but they're listed. I've got a few watches on those, but surprisingly the bag is sold first and this is in shocking condition. Sun faded, all the straps are there, the buckles are still there, but it's all just really gritty and it's just been well used. But what's carried this is the brand, I imagine. I claim the bottom compartment you can put your lawn bowls in, the top compartment you put whatever you want in there. I still had the price tag I paid from the charity shop. I paid 15 quid for the bag and the bowls. This has gone for 13 quid plus postage. That's most of the money back. The profit is going to be in them bowls. Some shady dealings going on there. Only me again. again. I am you back. I didn't miss one. I, I missed know, one. I, just found it. I missed one. You can have it for two. Brilliant. Let's go for it. <laughs> Hiya. Hiya, all right. Yeah. How much are you doing there? Trucks for? Two each. Two each. Yeah. I get that one. I get that one. Yeah. Keep an eye out for the white cowboy hat and the pink paintwork. This is Starla off of Blaze and the Monster Machines. Little bolo this one. Last solds, you can push 20 quid all in. And shout out Richard for hooking me up with this one. Two quid as well for this elephant Starla. Not as valuable, might push a tenner plus postage. I love the look of the longboard. It's only a tenner. <laughs> I'd break my neck on it. I'd, I'd break my neck on it. Come on, what's going on here? Transformer. Oh, I'm not sure these little ends are official. Hey, how's it going, all right? Yeah, not too bad, nice. Nice. Yeah, awesome. Just loving all the retro toys. Thank you. Thank you. What's just taking your fancy? I love Transformers. I love Transformers. I collect them, so that, that one would be great if I get that one. Yeah? Uh, pound? Pound for him sounds good. Yeah. Do uh, 50p for all the little ones then if you want? For all of them? Oh, 50p each was it? 50p, yeah, for the, for the little ones. Yeah, sounds good. I'm, yeah, I'm looking. Are they, are they actual Transformers, are they? Yeah, so they, they're all Transformers. They all like just fold out. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's let's go for it. So I'm going to got one, two, three, four, five. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. So seven of them. Yeah. Get the seven little ones. Oh, that's cool. And you got Tracy Island. Yeah, selling that as a set. Uh, Twenty pounds for that one. Twenty pounds for it. The only thing is missing is that bit there where you got your finger in. It's missing the pool bit. Oh yeah, there should be like a pool in there, shouldn't there? Oh, that's sweet. The Transformers are great. Yeah, let's let's. Did you yeah, let's go with them. Armada Hot Shot. Nearly didn't bother with this one at all. I've picked it up before and sold it. It only goes for three or four quid plus postage. But I'm glad I went over to have a closer look because of all of these Armada Minicons. 
This helicopter here, this one's called Jolt. This one should bundle up with Hot Shot. And actually, the last sold are about 1350 all in. But I nearly didn't bother with these at all. Because on first glance, I couldn't see any of the usual Autobot or Decepticon logos. I thought they might have been knockoffs. Look at the quality of the paintwork on that face. All they wanted was 50p, so I took the gamble. But the reason I took the gamble was because of that little piece of mold in there, which is on all of these. But what I do like about these larger Armada figures is they've got these little plugs on and you can clip these smaller ones on. Nice little touch, eh? But I tell you what, it is so rare to find these little ones out in the wild. You can imagine the larger Transformers, people can see the value in them, people can see the point of selling them on. For these little small ones, they just get thrown in the old toy boxes and forgotten about. But actually that means the second hand market for these is really, really strong. And you can be looking at selling these for five, 10, maybe even 15 pounds plus postage each. So to find these for 50p, yes, I could sell these on to make some nice profit, but these will be going in the collection. And those seven add nicely to the ones I previously found, but I've still got space for one more. And my final pickup today was this daredevil hardback graphic novel, Born Again absolutely trash and I was with my friend Marcus when I picked this up he just looked at me like what am I doing but it's by Frank Miller and I really enjoyed the Frank Miller Batman books he also wrote the Sin City books I haven't read this so this is for me to read it was only a pound and you'd be struggling to buy that anywhere for less than a fiver so money well spent in my eyes guys if you enjoyed this video hit that like hit that subscribe shout out Jonathan Roberts first comment and last video catch up with you Wednesday and we'll see what we can find in the charity shops to resell on eBay or add to the collection. See you then.